Hey, did you know that the portion of your brain that makes your life feel like crap could be turned down or even turned off with a quick mind hack? Yeah, you want to turn off that portion of your brain that makes you feel shitty about life? Here's how. But first, as always, here's the science of why this works. Your brain is your organ of survival, and so everything that it does is designed to help you survive from today into tomorrow, including your emotional processing and especially your negative emotions. For instance, fear helps you run away from danger, and anger helps you defend against threats that you may have a shot at fighting off. The thing that triggers these emotions is your perception, and your perception is basically what you believe is going on at the moment. But your perceptions can be inaccurate. Oh my god, there's a snake. Oh, thank god, that's just a hose. So what just theoretically happened there was that my brain caught out of the corner of my eye the coiled pattern on the ground, and subsequently it created a perception there was a snake. But when I was actually able to look down and understand that the coil on the ground was actually a hose, a specific portion of my brain in the right ventral lateral prefrontal cortex and the medial prefrontal cortex sent a signal back to another specific area of my brain called the amygdala, and it turned off the fear immediately. And why did it do this? Well, it did it because of survival, of course. Because if I waste my energy in my adrenaline dump that just got put into my bloodstream on a hose on a ground that's not really a threat, I may waste that energy and adrenaline on a non-threat now when I might need it five minutes from now when a bear walks out of the woods in front of me. So my brain, for survival purposes, needs a reason to be able to turn off negative emotions in the heat of the moment immediately and without delay. Now the cool thing is that you can hack this system and turn off your negative sh at will. And science actually proved this in 2007 at UCLA when Matt Lieberman proved that applying a prefrontal cortex process to an emotional process in your limbic system will literally turn off your amygdala in real time. They saw it on the fMRI happening live. They were watching test subjects simply name an emotion they were experiencing that was being conveyed to them via the media that they were being exposed to at the moment. A whole set of copycat studies came out and they were called the name it to tame it studies. Now if you want to turn that turning your negative shit off process up with any troubling emotion you're having at the moment, all you have to do is immediately deconstruct that negative emotion into its equation of emotion components. And I have tons of other videos and books and a free course on YouTube if you want to understand that a little better. And doing this with any troubling emotion will diffuse that emotion in real time by hacking the same brain circuits that are used to turn off your fear when you look down and see that your snake is actually a hose. You want to turn off your anger from an email or text message before you reply with something you're going to regret? Just look at your expectation or preference of that message versus your perception of that message and you will have more control immediately. You want to slap the bitch eye on your man at the club? Simply analyze your equation of emotion variables to go from overly jealous ho to a more confident ho you ain't got what it takes to steal my man. Or how about just maybe turn off your sadness about something that's been there too long, or your frustration or your worry about something else. You know, worrying is useless anyway, it can never change the outcome, but it can sap your energy from doing something that'll positively affect your outcome. So turn the worrying off by understanding its components, or what's actually causing that worry, and your hackable brain circuits will literally turn it off. You can hack your mind for a better life. It takes more than three minutes, but science proves it works. Check out my free course on YouTube or hang out here. You should probably subscribe because some of my stuff doesn't make it to you unless you do. So here I am delivering amazing sh having extra time at the end of the video, rubber baby buggy bumpers. How much wood? Wood, wood chuck chuck. For wood chuck, good chuck wood. Did you know a study just came out that proves mushrooms can repair brain damage? Merch at two seals and a walrus. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.